Hi, I'm Dave Millett from Equinox. A lot of organisations are now considering whether they should move away from their traditional phone system on the wall to something cloud-based called VoIP. That may be the right decision for you, but it's not always the case. If you've got lots of small offices or home workers, that might point you in that direction, but not always so. If you are looking at VoIP, there are a few things to consider. Firstly, is the supplier regulated by the Ombudsman? A lot of VoIP suppliers aren't. You can just Google the Telecoms Ombudsman, and then you can check on the list of people that are registered. That's very important if you employ less than 10 people, as the Ombudsman gives you binding arbitration. Secondly, you should ask, what is the supplier's platform? Is it one of the higher end ones, such as Genban, Broadsoft or Mitel, or is it freeware, such as Asterix? Generally, we would recommend using one of the higher platforms because they have better roadmaps for future developments. So look at that. Then look at what handsets that supplier recommends. If it's one of the generic ones, such as Cisco and Polycom, that's better because if you ever fell out of love with that VoIP supplier, it's going to be easier for you to move to another VoIP supplier and reuse the handsets rather than purchasing again new. And obviously also look at the web portal that's going to be yours to manage the system going forward. Is it easy to use? Is it intuitive? Do you feel you could work with it? And then apart from the standard things of any phone contract about length, penalties and prices, those are things you consider if VoIP is going to be right for your business.